Did you know that the percentage of Christians in almost every state is below 50%? And in most, that number has been dropping over the last decade. In 2013, Pew Research published a study that found that only two states in the U.S. have more than 50% of their population claiming to be Christians and believing the Bible is the Word of God. In other studies, they found that many Christians believe that some states are 80 and 90% Christian. Yes, that's a little bit unrealistic, but that's also the magic of faith. No matter what the faith is, you believe your flock is big, even if it isn't nearly as big as you think it is. Today, we're looking at what states have the most Christians and if they are gaining or losing those people of faith over the last decade. Got it? Get it? Good. Let's take a look. Number 10, Texas. The Lone Star State believes in a few things very strongly. Guns and the Bible are towards the top of most people's lists. Cheap real estate and the border seem to be pretty high also. Over the years, I've heard many stories of people moving to, let's say, one of the small towns in Texas or a place like that, and people eventually get around to the question, which church will you be attending? As a matter of fact, we did a video on the most religious states a few years back, and a bunch of the comments mentioned how people thought this was a strange question when they had been asked that, especially if you really didn't know the person or were just getting to know them. Now, this isn't a normal, everyday question. You're going to step out your door at your new house, and there's going to be like the neighborhood church ladies there going, which church will you be attending? If they are, just threaten them with the hose. They'll leave you alone. I lived in California most of my life, and nobody ever asked that. I don't even remember hearing stories about anyone getting asked that or anything similar. But if you do want to be around the highest percentage of Christians in Texas, you're going to want to move to the Dallas-Fort Worth metro area. This has the largest Christian population by percentage out of any large metropolitan area in the United States. I saw two different studies, so I'll tell you the numbers. One had it at 78% of the people in the Dallas-Fort Worth area claim to be Christian, and another study had it more like 67%. So that's still a pretty high number either way. Now here's the numbers for the percentage of Christians in Texas. In 2014, Pew Research found that it was 39% of the population claimed to be Christian and believed the Bible is the Word of God, while in 2024, it was actually done in 2023, but it was just published, it's 38%. They've gone down a percentage point. Number nine, Georgia. The Peach State is a state of faith and sweet tea. They like to do some worshiping. And the largest city, Atlanta, has the largest percentage of Christians. It's somewhere between 64 and 72% of the population. Overall, there are over 1,000 places of worship within the city of Atlanta, and about 350 of those are Christian houses of worship, like churches and whatnot. That's more than six times the amount of Starbucks in Atlanta. If you go to Seattle, those numbers are flipped. I'm sure. Now, that's just the big city. They have small towns that are hitting numbers around 85%, they estimate. The entire state of Georgia, like most southern states, goes big on religion, but the percentage of residents who consider themselves true Christians isn't even 50%. In 2014, Pew Research found that 41% of the people in Georgia consider themselves Christian and that the Bible is the Word of God. In 2024, it's 40%. So, like Texas, they dropped 1%. Number 8, Kentucky. The bluegrass state is no stranger to Jesus or moonshine. Back in the day, they used to combine the two quite often, which I'm sure made Sunday Mass a little more exciting. wonder if anyone's ever put forth the idea that you could baptize your child in Kentucky bourbon. I'm sure someone has. They have a few different denominations in Kentucky. Matter of fact, the Roman Catholic Archdiocese of Louisville has about 140,000 members, which is around 18% of the population. There's a strange thing about some of these states and these studies. It's kind of based on people that consider themselves Christians and they believe that the Bible is the word of God, like full-blown Christians. Well, there's some, let's say, off the beaten path denominations that aren't considered to be true Christians by some Christians. So there's this whole back and forth gray area that we're not going to get into. This is a very simple thing I'm doing here. I'm not going to get all deep into it. That's something you're really interested in. I would suggest reading up on it, maybe make your own video. But an interesting part of that is if you took all the denominations, even the ones that aren't considered true Christians, Christians, you'd find that about 78% of Kentucky's population is Christian, but we'll get more on that a little bit later. 
In 2014, 41% of Kentucky's population considered themselves Christians and believed that the Bible was the word of God. In 2024, that number jumped up two percentage points to 43%. Number seven, Louisiana. Louisiana has a reputation for religion, but it's not always Christian religions. This state has a lot of people that practice voodoo. Voodoo is a religion practiced in parts of the Caribbean and the southern United States, combining elements of Roman Catholic rituals with traditional African magical and religious rites, characterized by sorcery and spirit possession. As you can imagine, when you start including stuff like magic and spirit possession, most Christians consider you not a Christian religion. Despite the constant opposition between Christianity and voodoo, many Haitians often consider themselves practitioners of both voodoo and Christianity. Now, if you take everyone that considers themselves a Christian in Louisiana, that makes up 87% of the population. But if you just look at the Christians that believe the Bible is the word of God, what they would consider true Christians. In 2014, Pew reported that 44% of Louisiana's population fell into this category. In 2024, it's 43%. Number six, Arkansas. If you live in Arkansas, you better have some religion. With cities like Pine Bluff and Little Rock, I'm sure there's a lot of prayer going on every single day. God, please let my car be there after work. God, please don't let me be mistaken for a guy who owes a gambling debt again. Arkansas has a strong evangelical Protestant community comprising of about 50% of the population. You also got historically black Protestants and mainline Protestants. So this is a very religious state. Now, if you look at all the Christians in Arkansas, that's about 82% of the population falls into that category. Now, if you break it down to the Christians who believe that the Bible is the word of God and Jesus was like the only prophet, in 2014, Pew Research said that was about 45% of the population. Here in 2024, it's 44% of the population. Number five, Tennessee. Ah, look, another southern state. Didn't see that one coming at all. The Volunteer State is a great place to live. A lot of people have been moving there. It's been very popular for some time. In my experience, this state is filled with nice and welcoming people, and I think that plays a big hand in why they're so popular. And again, in my experience, these are some church-going people. But not sure how long this will be. I just read an article in the Chattanooga Times Free Press that said evangelical Christians are aging and younger people aren't as interested in being involved. More than half of evangelical Christians in Tennessee are over the age of 65. There are over 200 Christian churches in Tennessee. This isn't a big state. Like Arkansas, they got an ugly city, and Arkansas has two, and I'm sure a lot of people are praying that they don't get killed there. Memphis, Tennessee, horrible. The rest of the state is wonderful. When you look at all Christians in Tennessee, it makes up about 83% of the population. But when you look at the ones that claim to be Christian that believe that the Bible is the word of God, in 2014, Pew Research said it was only 46% of the population. Here in 2024, It's 47, so they gained a percentage point. Number four, South Carolina. Hmm, southern state. I'm starting to see a trend here. South Carolina is heavy on the religious stuff, especially Christianity. Their largest city is actually called the Holy City, just like Vatican City. A quick glance at the Charleston skyline will kind of hip you to this fact. They got a lot of churches, a lot of steeples, a lot of crosses on the top of buildings. The city's many churches date back to its founding as the colony of Charlestown in 1670. The colony was established on the basic principle of religious tolerance. That's just one example of a pretty good sized state. 80% of the state's population is considered Christian, whether they're practicing, whether they believe in the Bible, all that good stuff, 80% of them. But if you look at the true Christians, at least that's what they call themselves, that believe in Jesus as the only prophet, and they believe that the Bible is the word of God, that in 2014 was about 49% of the population of South Carolina. In 2024, they sit at 47%.
Number three, West Virginia. The Mountain State is another example of a bunch of good, welcoming people living together. And I really believe a lot of that has to do with their church and habits. Christianity is strong in this state. Now, before you do, stop typing. I'm not saying that everyone that goes to church is guaranteed to be a wonderful person. I just think there's a better chance. West Virginia is a state that I think most people don't realize how religious they are. There's a lot of other things happening here, both good and bad, that sort of overshadow everything else. Now, they are really, really big on Christianity here, and if you consider everyone that slightly considers themselves a Christian, that's about 81% of the population of West Virginia. But in 2014, about 47% of the state were what people would consider devoted Christians. Believe the Bible is the word of God and all that other stuff. They actually went up a little bit in 2024 with 48% of the people being true believers. Number two, Alabama. Alabama is all about church and Alabama football. If you ever hear someone say Roll Tide, it's a sports reference, not a tsunami warning. I know it kind of sounds like it. I read an article from AL.com, which is Alabama.com basically, that talked about a billboard they had on the side of the road. It said there's no better symbol of traditional faith in Alabama than a sign alongside Interstate 65 in Prattville that says, go to church or the devil will get you. That's kind of a theme there in Alabama. A little fear never hurt anyone, right? About 86% of this state identifies as a Christian. Some hardcore Christians, some not so much. There was one study that was referenced in an article. I couldn't find what they were talking about. It was a little bit older of a thing. But they said at one point in the 1970s, almost 95% of Alabama identified as Christians. Not sure if that's totally true. Couldn't really find much on it, but I did see other things that were similar. But that's a lot of people. That's a high percentage for an entire state. I mean, even right now, when you look at all the people that claim they are Christian in Alabama, it's 89%. That is astonishingly high. But in the Pew study in 2014, 51% of Alabama's population claimed that they were Christian, they believed Jesus was the only prophet, and they believed that the Bible was the word of God. So basically the hardcore Christians or true believers, whatever you want to say, they're just words. Don't give me a hard time about it. Just trying to get a point across. In 2024, it's 53%. They're going up. Number one with an asterisk. Now, this is kind of a strange one. So you have Utah. Utah is one of the most religious states we have. And they have very similar numbers to Alabama. So they kind of go here. But here's why they're not number two by themselves. Mormons consider themselves Christians, but many Christians don't recognize Mormonism as an official denomination of Christianity. Mormons believe in the crucifixion, the resurrection, and the divinity of Jesus Christ. But there's a few differences. They claim God sent more prophets after Jesus. Christians think Jesus was the only one. There's a handful of other differences, like the Book of Mormon versus the Bible. I'm not going to get all into it. Don't know enough about it. And when it comes to religion and politics, if you make the smallest misstep in the facts or a little too vague about something, the comment section will be ablaze with people all religiously butthurt. If you know a bunch about the difference, I would love to hear about it. Put it down in the comment section. It is very interesting. My opinion, if you claim you're a Christian, you're a Christian. So the Mormons are all good on my end. If you're a cult leader and you claim you're Christian, I'm not on board with you. But here's their numbers. 77% of Utah is all Christians. Now, if you even take all the Mormons and all the other things, even the Mormons that don't consider themselves Christians, it's closer to 89% just like Alabama. But in the Pew Research study in 2014, 51% of the people were the true believers, hardcore Christians. In 2024, other studies have them at 53%. So it's a little bit of a strange one. All right, before we get to number one, at the end of number one, there's some suggested videos by YouTube they think you might like. If you click one of those, it helps out the channel. All right, on to number one. And number one, Mississippi. Mississippi is by far the most religious state we have. 
They don't have as many overall Christians as Utah and Alabama, but when you look at the hardcore, they're kind of killing it there. They actually blow everyone else out of the water. They're so religious, I would suggest they start praying for an end to poverty because your state is ripe with it. Right now, 85% of Mississippi is considered Christian. But if you look at the Pew study, it's a little different. In 2014, 56% of the people were considered hardcore Christians or true believers, whatever you want to say, in Mississippi. In 2024, that jumped up to 57%. That's at least 4% higher than everyone else on this list. All right, that's today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you got some information out of it. Let us know what you thought in the comment section below. We'd love to hear your point of view on this. Everybody have a great day. Be nice to each other.